Let's whip this day two hair in shape, shall we? I did a blowout with this exact same tool the day before, so all I'm doing today is leaving the heat right at the root area. My ends are smooth. They're bent the way I want them to be. So see how I'm just holding the brush here? It is not on max heat, but I'm holding the brush on the root for as long as I can just to pop them up a little bit. When I've held the brush there for a few seconds, I'll hit the cool shot to cool everything down and then move along to the next section. Look at the volume I get by doing this. Here, I'm holding the cool shot. I'm gonna let this section out. Just please pay attention. It is off my head. Look at that. For the crown area, I'm doing the same routine. However, I'm gonna grab some pins, roll it into the shape as if it was on a Velcro roller, clip it in place, but I'm gonna leave the ends out because I don't want the ends to be too wrapped up. So I'll repeat this just for really the three sections at the top crown of my head. Any kind of flat clip could work here, like a duckbill clip, a bobby pin could work, although probably a duckbill clip is gonna be the easiest. I like to add a bit of water to my face frame area. I feel like this really revives that front section and I want that to look the most fresh. I brush it forward and down, side to side, and that way I get a really soft, flattering swoop. Now I'm gonna take the pins out. Please compare that front bang section I blew dry down to these areas that were in the pins. It is so different. There's so much lift, it just floats away compared to the front section. Now I do have root lifter in from the day before, but I really think this is the styling with that heat brush using the cool shot, locking those crown areas in with pins for volume.